Microsoft Dynamics CRM is a fully integrated customer relationship management solution. Comprised of a robust suite of sales, marketing, and service capabilities, CRM offers businesses and organizations of all sizes a fast, flexible, and affordable solution for finding, winning, and growing profitable relationships. Furthermore, its familiar Microsoft Outlook interface drives user adoption and improves productivity. We're going to be demonstrating the Outlook interface throughout this entire demonstration. You can access all of the Microsoft Dynamics CRM data inside of Microsoft Outlook. The Outlook interface allows easy navigation to the folders and data. If I want to come over here, I can see on the left-hand pane my inbox. I can see all of my normal personal folders that would be associated with me as an Outlook user. But I also see that I have something here called Microsoft Dynamics CRM. This is how CRM is integrated inside of the Outlook interface. Very easily, I can navigate to additional folders and view the entities, expand any folder I want to work with. Very important and widely used area in CRM is sales. By coming down to the sales tab, I can focus in on those accounts that, or leads or opportunities that I'm working with to try to promote our services. They can include anything from contacts, quotations, opportunities, anything else you can imagine that's associated with a typical sales process. A very important and commonly used entity in sales is a lead. By clicking on leads, you begin a typical process with the investigation of possible leads. Let's say I heard that one hot lead in particular was called Wilson Pice and decided to get further details on him. Very easily I can search through my records for anyone named Wilson. Here I see Dan Wilson and Wilson Pice are both here. By pulling up Wilson's record, I can see that there are a number of additional details running along the left pane. Information, activities, history, and workflows as well as any marketing lists that Wilson may be a member of and any campaigns that we may have used to communicate information to him. Additionally, along the top side, I see general information, details such as address, number of employees, revenue, administration in terms of what type of way they want to be contacted or maybe they don't want to be contacted in a certain way, and any random notes that I may have from any conversations or communications that I may have with him. Once qualified, you can convert a lead into a number of other important entities, including an opportunity, an account, or a contact, very easily just by clicking this Convert Lead button, selecting the entities that you wish to use for the conversion, clicking OK. After a lead has been converted, you want to see some details of the conversions. So now by closing out this now deactivated lead record, you'll see he's not there in leads anymore, I can find Wilson again in opportunities. By pulling up Wilson's opportunities, you'll notice that there's more information now than there was when he was a lead. There are now sales quotes, orders, invoices, and competitors. You'll also notice that I have this at a glance tab that I didn't have before. The at a glance tab is a very powerful tab that you can add to give, it, give you types of heads up information or important data for you to remember as you're going through an opportunity. From within this opportunity and within Outlook, I can create emails, I can track them in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. This allows me to keep track of all customer interactions and easily find them at a later point in time. For example, if I wanted to create a new email, I could simply do as I would normally do inside of Outlook. Click Inbox, click New. In the To button, I can actually choose what type of contact I'm actually going to communicate with. In this case, CRM Leads. I'm going to associate Wilson Pice, who is a lead with an opportunity now, and actually now send that email to him. Subject. Test email from CRM. In the body of the message, I can put any information that might be important to Mr. Pice in our communications. Now, the one thing you will notice here that is very different than just an Outlook message is this box up near the top where I have CRM entity information. 
Here, I'm going to select to track in CRM because I want this email communication thread to be tracked, both outbound when I'm sending it, as well as any replies Wilson might give me. Now I get to choose Select Regarding. I want to tie this to a specific opportunity. I check on Opportunity, I search for Wilson, and here I have Wilson Pice with Wingtip Toys. So this specific opportunity now, with this specific lead, I have now set inside of CRM. From the list, of all the opportunities that I have in the system. After sending this email, now let's say I want to record a, an appointment. Again, just like I would do normally in Outlook, I'm going to create a meeting request. From this, I can actually send something again to Mr. Pice. Meeting request, location to be determined, and I'm going to put this at, say, 8 o'clock. Once again, I'm coming up to track it in CRM. I'm now going to set it, and because I just used Wilson Pice, he's here in my frequent or recent uh, regarding to records in CRM. I choose Mr. Pice. I send this. Now, if I come down to my calendar, in Outlook, you'll see that there's a meeting request that I sent just like you would expect for 8 o'clock tonight. By double-clicking on that meeting, I can now see all the information as I normally would inside of Outlook, but I can also do a view regarding and pull up this information inside of CRM. By doing that, I'm actually now showing all of the information that I have about Mr. Pice, any relationships, any products, any activities that I've had with him in the past, for example, confirming that he's qualified lead, sending him a meeting request, and any history, anything that I might have sent him in the past, such as that test email from CRM that we just sent a little while ago. Again, all fully integrated within the same user interface for the convenience of our users. I also have the ability to customize forms inside of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So if there are things that you see here that don't necessarily map to your organization's specific needs, it's relatively simple to be able to go in and customize, provided that your organization is giving you permissions to do so. I can choose settings. From settings, I can choose customization. From customization, I can choose to customize an entity. And let's say that entity that I want to customize is actually an account. I can very easily double-click on the account entity and pull up an interface. That interface will allow me the ability to add fields, move fields around, delete them, or enable them. Here, let's open up the account form. As a quick example, let's say that I wanted to change the account name, and I want the account name to go below account number. By hitting this down arrow, I've just changed where account name is. If I want account name now to be below parent account, I can set that down as well, changing my hierarchy. If I want to add a section, add fields, change things around. It's very simple for anyone to do. You don't need to bother your IT department to make these types of changes. You just need to make certain that your manager is giving you permission to do so within the system. Now if I come in and I publish that, that change that I just made, we'll go into an account and you'll see that on all of the account tabs we open, the order is now changed so that account number is first parent account is second, and uh, account name is third. I'll just open up uh, one of these, community department store. Here you see account number is now first, parent account is now second, account name is now third. I hope some of this has shown you some of the ease and power by which CRM can assist your business. 
It's very simple to open up accounts. It's very simple to open up contacts, relate them to uh, various goals and metrics, as well as to modify the environment to fit any specific need that you may have, all around a central data repository that allows business users and sales managers to have consistent information throughout their entire organization. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Engage Incorporated, www.engage2day.com.